Mohamed Isanusi II, the former Emir of Kano, says Nigerians should not vote for any politician who claims that everything will be easy once elected. Speaking at the closing ceremony of the seventh edition of the Kaduna Economic and Investment Summit, the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria said politicians must prepare the minds of citizens for tough decisions. So let me first of all please request our politicians. You must prepare the minds of Nigerians for difficult decisions. Anybody who tells you that it is going to be easy, please don't vote for him. Because it's either he's lying to you or he does not know what job he's going to get. You cannot, you cannot with this level of debt, this level of debt service, with this level of collapse in revenue, with this level of poverty, you cannot. And you have to take corrective decisions. Tariffs on electricity sector have, have, to be, have to be corrected. Tariffs in the oil sector have to be corrected. But before we correct that, we have to deal with the opportunities for rent seeking. You have to close off the inflated numbers, the false numbers. And I hope that whoever becomes president in 2023, the first thing they should do is ask NMPC to document and bring evidence for every dollar they took as subsidy. Meanwhile, the former Emir has joined the legion of prominent Nigerians calling for the disbandment of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, the NNPC. He expressed his appointment at how the company has become a money pit. Look, countries cry when they're spending 30% of their revenue on debt service. Today, the Caribbean, they're crying. 30, 35%, they're crying. We are spending 100%. We're all laughing. We're having parties. If we don't fix this, we're going to have our children curse us to eternity. So, what do we do with the states? First is to recognize that NMPC is not a cash cow, it's a money pit. Just unbundle it, disband it, continue to implement the PIB properly, and turn them into a properly commercial. And when I say implement, it is not just to set up companies and leave the same people and the same processes and the same system, but with a different name. It means properly implement that act. And then let them pay royalty and taxes. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.